Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much. Secretary, Secretary General, General Stoltenberg, Stoltenberg. Chancellor, Chancellor Merkel. Merkel. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Other, Other heads, heads of state, state and government, government. I'm, I'm honored, honored to be here, here with members, members of an alliance that has, has promoted, promoted safety, safety and peace across, across the, world. the world. Prime Minister, Prime Minister May, all of the nations, the nations here today, today grieve with, with you and stand, stand with, you. with you. I would like, I would like to, to ask that we, we now observe a moment, a moment of, of silence, silence for the victims and families, and families of the savage, savage attack, attack which, which took, took place, place in Manchester. Manchester. Thank, Thank you. you. Terrible, Terrible thing. This, this ceremony, ceremony is a day for both, for both remembrance, remembrance and, and resolve. We remember, we remember and mourn those, those nearly, nearly 3,000 innocent, innocent people who were brutally murdered by terrorists, terrorists on September 11, 2001. Our NATO allies responded swiftly and decisively, invoking for the first time in its history the Article 5 collective defense commitments. The recent attack on Manchester in the United Kingdom demonstrates the depths, the depths of the, the evil, evil we, we face, face with, with terrorism. terrorism. Innocent, Innocent little girls, girls and, so and so many others, others were horribly, horribly murdered and badly, badly injured, injured while, while attending, attending a concert. concert. Beautiful, Beautiful lives, lives with so much, much great, great potential, potential torn, torn from, from their, their families forever and, and ever. ever. It was, it was a, a barbaric, barbaric and vicious, and vicious attack, attack upon our, our civilization. civilization. All, All people, people who cherish life, life must, must unite, unite in finding, finding exposing, and removing these killers and extremists. And, extremists. and, yes, and yes, losers. losers. They, they are losers. losers. Wherever, Wherever they, they exist, exist in our societies, we must, we must drive, drive them out, out and, and never, never, ever, ever let, let them, them back, back in. in. This, this call for driving, driving out terrorism is a message I took, I took to a historic gathering of Arab and Muslim, and Muslim leaders across, across the region, hosted by Saudi Arabia. Arabia. There, there I spent, spent much time with King, King Solomon, Solomon, a wise man, man who, who wants, wants to see things, things get, get much, much better, better rapidly. rapidly. The leaders, the leaders of the Middle East have agreed at this, at this unprecedented meeting, meeting to stop, stop funding the radical ideology that, that leads to this, this horrible terrorism all, all over the globe. My, My travels, travels and meetings have given me renewed hope that nations of many, many faiths can unite to defeat, defeat terrorism, terrorism, a common threat, threat, threat to, to all, all of humanity. humanity. Terror must, must be stopped in its, in its tracks, tracks or the horror you saw in Manchester, in Manchester and, and so many other places, places will continue, continue forever. forever. You have, you have thousands, thousands and thousands of people, of people pouring into, into our various, various countries, countries and, and spreading, spreading throughout. And in, and in many, many cases, we have, have no idea who they are. are. We, must we must be tough, we must be strong, be strong and we, and we must, must be vigilant. Be vigilant. The NATO, the NATO of the, of the future, future must, must include a great, great focus, focus on terrorism and immigration, as well as, well as threats, threats from Russia, Russia and on NATO's, NATO's eastern, eastern and southern, southern borders. borders. These, These great security, security concerns, concerns are the same, same reason that I have been, been very, very direct, direct with, with Secretary, Secretary Stoltenberg, Stoltenberg and members, and members of, the of the Alliance in saying, in saying that NATO, NATO members, members must finally contribute their, their fair share, share and meet their, their financial, financial obligations. obligations. But, but 23, 23 of the 28, 28 member nations, nations are, still are still not paying, paying what they should, should be paying and what, what they're, they're supposed, supposed to be paying for their, their defense. defense. 
This, this is, is not, not fair, fair to, to the people, people and taxpayers in the United, United States. States. And, many and many of these nations owe massive, massive amounts of money from past, past years and not, and not paying, paying in those, in those past, past years. years. Over the Over last eight years, years, the United States, States spent more on defense, defense than all other NATO, NATO countries, countries combined. combined. If all, if all NATO, NATO members had spent just 2% of their, their GDP, GDP on, defense on defense last year, year we would have had, had another $119 billion for our collective defense and for, for the, the financing, financing of additional NATO, NATO reserves. reserves. We, should we should recognize that with these chronic underpayments and growing and threats, threats even, Even 2% of, of GDP is insufficient to close the gaps, gaps in modernizing readiness and the size of forces. Of forces. We, we have, have to, make to make up for the, for the many, many years, years lost. 2% two two is, is the bare minimum, minimum for confronting, confronting today's very real and very vicious threats. threats. If NATO, NATO countries, countries made, made their full and complete, complete contributions, contributions, then NATO, NATO would, be would be even stronger, stronger than, than it is today, today especially from, from the threat, threat of terrorism. Of terrorism. I, want I want to extend, extend my appreciation to the 9-11 Memorial, Memorial Museum, Museum in New York, York for contributing this remnant of the, of the North, North Tower, Tower as, as well as to Chancellor Merkel, Merkel and, the and the German people for donating this portion of the Berlin, Berlin Wall. It is, it is truly fitting that, that these two artifacts, artifacts now reside here so close together at the new NATO, NATO headquarters. headquarters. And, and I, never I never asked once, once what, what the new NATO, new NATO headquarters, headquarters cost. I refuse, I refuse to, do to do that. But it, but it is, is beautiful. beautiful. Each, Each one, one marks, marks a pivotal, pivotal event, event in the in history of this alliance and in the, the eternal battle, battle between, between good, good and evil. evil. On, On one, one side, a testament, testament to the triumph of, of our, our ideals over, over a totalitarian, totalitarian communist ideology bent on the oppression of millions and millions of people. people. On, On the, the other, other, a painful reminder of the barbaric evil, evil that, that still, still exists, exists in the world. world. And that, and that we, we must, must confront, confront and, and defeat, defeat together, together as, as a group, group as, as a world. world. This, this twisted, twisted mass of metal reminds, reminds us not only of what, of what we, have we have lost, but also what forever endures. The courage of our people, the strength of our resolve, and the commitment that bind us together as one. one. We will we never forget the lives that were lost. We will never forsake the friends who stood by our side. side. And we, and we will, will never, never waver, waver in our determination to defeat, defeat terrorism, terrorism and to, and to achieve, achieve lasting security, prosperity, and peace. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. It's a great, great honor, honor to be here. here. Thank, Thank you. you.